Hey what's up everyone, I'm Cam, welcome back, and today I've got an exciting update for Vela Exchange. Before we get going though, please remember I am not a financial advisor, nothing you see here is financial advice, this is for educational and informational purposes only, and they are my opinion. First, I want to talk about the ARB coin. So ARB, Arbitrum's token, it hit an all time high of $1.84. Now if you remember, Arbitrum was an airdrop back earlier last year. And it launched around maybe 30, 40 cents. It hit up to like 60. And now we see it's almost $2. That's pretty massive for a free airdrop. Now, with that being said, I do expect some of that liquidity coming into Arbitron to leach out into these blue chips on ARB. And I really think Vela is one of those blue chip tokens on Arbitron. Vela is a perp dex. They do futures trading on crypto, forex, and precious metals. They offer leverage trading up to 250x leverage. And they also offer staking. So earlier today, when I was on the platform, I was looking at all my staking stuff, and I noticed at the very top, I noticed these new credits are there. You can see right now I have just over 3,000 credits. I don't know what they're for. Vela's being super secretive about these credits. They're not saying how you earn them. All we can do is speculate right now. So for me, with the Vela Exchange, as you can see, I'm mainly into staking Vela. I also have some escrowed Vela that I'm vesting, and I have minted and staked VLP tokens. I'm not a huge trader per se, so I haven't done a lot of trading volume. But I can see that just from staking some Vela, some escrow Vela and VLP that I've earned some credits, what it seems like. Now, I wonder if trading perhaps could get you more credits. And also, could be trading get you more credits, referring friends could get you more credits, maybe depending upon how much you stake could get you credits. And I also wonder like trading Forex versus precious metals or precious metals versus crypto versus any of the other ones, what leverage you use. There's so many different scenarios that could earn these credits. But again, Vela is being super secretive. All they're saying is that it's going to be super massive for quarter one to accumulate these credits and that we want to accumulate them. So I've seen some users have zero credits. Myself, I have 3,000. I've even seen one user with 180,000 credits. But in his comments, he was saying that he was a big trader. So I imagine trading volume does do a lot to accumulate these credits. Now, something I noticed under the prizes section in this Grand Prix that's coming up. Uh, as you can see here, it's coming soon. It's grayed out. Maybe the credits play into that. Maybe use the credits during the Grand Prix. Maybe your position in the Grand Prix gets you more credits. I really don't know. But it's definitely spiked some interest. As you can see with the announcement of this, the price of Vela has shot up. It cleared about $1.10 and now it's back to around a dollar. Trading volume on the platform has spiked. So I think people are starting to realize, hey, the more you trade, the more credits you can earn. Again, man, I, I have no idea what these credits are for, but I'm excited for them. Let me know your strategy for accumulating these credits. If you're going to be staking, if you're going to be trading, what you're going to be trading, how much you're going to be trading, uh, leverage wise, whatever you think it is, man, let me know. Let's figure this out together because I've heard that those who crack the code for earning these credits, it's going to be a massive win for them. So drop a comment on what you think it's going to be. Let me know. I'll comment back and we'll figure this out together. Until next time, guys, thank you and God bless.